Welcome. Yeah, so problem 18 and a really cool, fun problem here. Uh, first, uh, understand the tangent of pi over 2 minus x is the same as cotangent of x. So with that, um, we're noting that uh, tangent uh, to the power 2017 of pi over 2 minus x is going to equal cotangent to the power 2017 of x. But since cotangent of x is 1 over tangent of x, this here we can write as uh, 1 over tangent to the power 2017 of x, yeah? Okay, cool. This is going to play very crucially um, in uh, how we work with this in the rest of this video, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, let's make the substitution that x be equal to uh, pi over 2 minus t. Then uh, dx is equal to negative dt, right? And so we can, um, if we write that the given integral is called i, we can write i like this which is dx is negative dt, and then we'd have, uh, instead of x now, we're going to write pi over 2 minus t, right? So in the argument, right? Okay, pi over 2 minus t, there it is. And let's extend the division sign a little bit. Yeah, okay, okay. Now, uh, where to from here, right? Well, uh, what about the limits of integration? Don't they change? Yes, they do. For 0, since that's x, we go 0 equals pi over 2 minus t, and so t is going to become pi over 2, right? So this lower limit is going to change to pi over 2, and the upper limit will change to 0. You can work out the details of the upper limit more carefully yourself. It's not very hard, yeah? Okay, all right, so we have this, yeah? Okay, where to from here? Well, we made a very important observation here in red, which is the tangent to the power 2017 of pi over 2 minus theta is 1 over tangent to the power 2017 of theta, right? And yes, I'm intentionally using theta instead of x, but you get it. And therefore, this here can be replaced by 1 divided by tangent to the power 2017 of t, this here, yeah? Okay, and so that's what we're going to do. But also note that since we have a minus sign right here, we can put the limits of integration back to what they were, 0 to pi over 2, and we can make up for uh, doing that with this minus sign right there, yeah? Okay, so doing both, we go there. We write simply a dt instead of minus dt. And as we said, uh, we're going to write this guy, right, this here, and place a this here. Now, a little bit of algebra will go a long way in showing that what I have right here is going to be the same as what? Well, it's the same as writing this here, right? Okay, cool. All right, that's just simple algebra. Now, now, um, this is all in terms of t. So let's substitute for t with alpha then nothing really changes, only all the t's change to alpha, right? So we have this. This is equal to i, right? Okay, and then let's come back to the original i, this guy, and let's uh, substitute for x with alpha again. That doesn't change anything except all the x's change to alphas, right? So um, there. But this is useful because, um, uh, yeah, that's nothing, okay? I was just playing around with colors. I'm trying to uh, get purple. I couldn't find purple, but it's okay. We'll live. Now, I, which is this here, plus I, make 2I, right? Um, and you can see, <laughs> okay, that 2I is going to be, uh, it's going to be what? Well, they have the same limits of integration. That's good. They have the same alpha stuff. That's good. And they have, crucially, the same denominator. So we could just add them, right? We could add these two integrals. Uh, specifically add their integrants. So we have 1 over this denominator, same denominator here, and then we have this in the numerator, so it's just 1 plus this over the same denominator, right? Oh, wait, how nice, because that means that we have this in the numerator, and the plus 1 again is because we technically have a 1 in front of the d alpha right here. Yeah, okay, okay. But yeah, they have the same denominator, which is this guy, right? Yeah? Oh, nice. And then d alpha. What is this? These guys are identical. So this is just 1. So we see that um, the integral uh, is going to become 0 to pi over 2 of just 1 d alpha or simply d alpha. Well, that's just um, alpha evaluated uh, from 0 to pi over 2, which is going to be pi over 2, meaning 2i is equal to pi over 2, meaning i is equal to pi over 4. Yeah, isn't that cool? I thought so. Um, keep watching. Take care.